Samsung executives claim that we should expect the media powerhouse with the Galaxy Note 8. China is the first country to see HTC's efforts in standalone Vive headset, and Samsung continues to hit a home run with its quarter results in the Galaxy S8. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, yes, believe it or not, we are trying to get this video up every day at 9 p.m. Eastern. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. I think I am going to start calling Verizon the $5 a month company. For those of you in the market for Moto Z2 Play, which is one of the phones that I highly recommend, this is actually currently available for $5 a month in Verizon, two-year contract. Obviously, there is a catch. You can learn more in the link in the description. And if you are not a fan of YouTube Red or Google Play Music, it seems that Google executives are not fans either, up to the point where we have a Google executive today claiming that both services are going to merge. There is going to be a new service coming soon. There were no dates provided, but yeah, these two are going to merge. Let's see what we get from that. Hopefully at the same price tag. And ever since Google I.O., we have seen companies tease their efforts in standalone VR, but the thing is we haven't really seen anything concrete. This is part of the Daydream project. As it turns out, HTC has just announced its new standalone Vive VR headset. It's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. The only question is exactly when are we going to get it outside of China, because apparently this is only going to be a China product, or at least now. Stay tuned, we'll keep you posted as we learn more. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung. We have quarter results information and the company continues to break records. $55 billion in sales, a 42% growth in profits when you compare the company's results last year. And the most important part is that yes, definitely some of this growth is attributed to the Galaxy S8, but even the company claims that most of this growth comes from its sales of chips and OLED displays. So yeah. It still has a lot to go when it comes to sales from smartphones, and still the company is breaking records again. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the future Galaxy Note. We're going to dub it Galaxy Note 8. The company executives, after the quarter results, then claimed that we should expect a media powerhouse with the Galaxy Note 8. Apparently, it is going to be focused mostly on media consumption, and this is rather interesting, mainly because, well, we're actually getting a smaller battery than the Galaxy S8 Plus, obviously to fit the S Pen, and usually the Note has always been a phone for productivity, even though most of us have always claimed that the last thing you really do with a smartphone this big is be productive with it. So anyways, it leads me to the question today, do you think that this possible shift of Samsung into more of a media powerhouse with the Galaxy Note 8 is a good move? Because in my case, I think that the company should have done that years ago instead of focusing on making this a business phone. But leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button as well for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern.